and the duo Mecha Hakkinen in the McLaren Mercedes. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy what is about to come. So, 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 let's exit the pit lane. And hopefully, we can gain pole position. But my luck is not great. So uh, hopefully we can do something around Monaco. And if not, what else can we do? Right, here we go. Ooh, that's close then. Here we go. So as we exit the pits here, we go up to the hill of Monaco. Then we go sideways. There we go. Right. And then we go down the hill here around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. Oh, a tight turn in there. Now the slowest hairpin on the calendar. And now we turn right here. We go and get a good exit for the tunnel section here. Many accidents in the past in the tunnel section. I myself being in the tunnel section so I know all about that. Hit the little side barrier there but that is no danger as we try and get things controlled here around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. Really tight section here around the swimming pool chicanes. Now we enter our fast lap of the session. But the key thing is traffic. Is there anyone going to be entering? No, there's some people coming out the pit. So as we begin our fastest lap here, we have got some company in the name of DC right in front of Mitch, uh, Mick uh, Hakkinen. So hopefully DC with his big jawline cannot get in the way of my lap here around the streets of Monaco or Monte Gallo. Here we go, good turn from uh, Mika Hakkinen here. And now here's the tight turn. Here's the slowest hairpin on the F1 calendar, of course. As he closed down on his teammate, David Cuthard. Now they enter the tunnel section here, the both Mohammed Stiddes. As he goes flat out here around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. a bit of the chicane but that is okay within the rules of course and now they are looking for a good exit here around the swimming pool so can that is good and now just hoping he can get the best exit here little tap with the wall there Final turn, a little tap of the wall again, but that is no danger for Mika Hakkinen around the streets of Monaco, and that is a 1 minute 25, as he almost glides there with a Jaguar. 1 minute 25.5 seconds to beat for the rest of the grid. That makes him third position in the Grand Prix circuit. But can he get any better? Let's find out as we try and not damage the car on the way around to our second flight, second fastest lap, going around the slow hairpin on the F1 calendar, of course, going a bit weird there with the hill, but now he enters the uh, tunnel section, and if you have not visited Monaco, I suggest you do, as we try and not get caught out by traffic, he gets a little overtake there, then, then, and then he tries to keep it out the barrier of course, I was stuck behind a spiker, the spiker tries to begin his lap as well, but now can this be a faster lap from Mika Hakkinen, who knows, he's got 21, 22, 23, he is two seconds faster than his previous time there, he lost a bit of the front wing, 
that is going to be it. That is fourth position in the race. So uh, hopefully around the streets of Monaco we can get somewhere in this Grand Prix. Let's check out the uh, the camera here as we enter the, uh, the if, enter our latest and fastest lap here around the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. As I tap the wall there behind a spiker, to try to overtake the spiker, of course. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, as I smash the front wing off that McLaren, and so there, that's it for uh, for what's happened. As you can see, and um, you change cargoes. You've got m the great Michael Schumacher. You've got, that's Michael Schumacher, the other one was Rubens Barrichello, of course, you can see the uh, the white helmet of Barrichello, and you've got the rest of the grid, so yeah, that is that, um, stop replay please continue and then go into the garage so that has been qualifying guys hope you enjoyed we have got some times coming in here we have got montoya in second 6.2 seconds behind us it's fantastic for us montoya is third now Villeneuve is second in the bar of course Villeneuve is a good driver back in the day so he is more michael schumacher has gone six fastest ahead of his brother Ralph Schumacher Jensen Button in the Benetton has gone 6th, Panis gone 5th fastest uh, McLaren teammate of Mika Hakan of course David Kufar gone 4th red light out at the moment meaning that there's too many cars on the track at the moment and there have been a lot of cars out at the moment Jano Trulli there in 11th position our position is Nick Heidfeld of course and uh, yeah with that said in mind let's head to the Grand Prix So here we are around the streets of Monaco in 2001. The Monaco Grand Prix covers 3.367 kilometers around this fast, tight and twisty corners. So the starting grid as follows. Mick Hakkinen in McLaren first. Jack Villeneuve second in the BAR. And now as we skip that, we skip to the race with five red lights about to begin around the streets of Monaco and it's go 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 Monaco Grand Prix circuit as Mika Hakkinen loses position to Jack Villeneuve ahead of him it is a tight twisty circuit but what can make you and um, not make sure oh he just tags the back of the VAR there Mika Hakkinen and now he's trying to fend off Jack Villeneuve in the BAR and now he's first position back where he belongs and now he is going around the slow hairpin around this track of course now he's going a bit wide here for the entrance of the tunnel and now he is shooting away here around this Monaco Grand Prix circuit the first lap of the race have gone swimmingly in terms of the race and now he needs to break very hard for that tight and twisty section of the track now he needs to make sure he don't lose any body work on that car around the swimming pool section of course and that is a great smart small little lap oh just tagged the barrier there but that is okay because he is a bit further down the road now to second place of Villeneuve. He just tagged it a little bit there as well. 
He is. He is. For six seconds, as there's a yellow flag going on about. Oh, and that is it. That is it for Mika Hakkinen's gameplay. That is it. He's going round the track with one wheel off the car. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Sam Rain. This is Monaco Grand Prix. This is the World Championship in 2001. Thank you for watching. My name is Sam Rain. We are heading to Canada, the Canadian Grand Prix circuit next at Montreal. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.